What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Hey, show us your kits. Show us your kits. All right, nerdlings, we are going to change things up just a little bit. We're going to take the focus off of cleaning kits this time. Well, what other kind of kit can there be? Actually, I'm thinking convention survival kits. Ooh, my favorite. Hey, everyone has that stack of stuff that they always take to conventions to make sure it makes the whole experience that much better. Maybe give you some ideas of what to put in yours. Starting off, we reached out to Zap Crystal to show us her kit to survive at conventions. She was kind enough to invite Mr. Rightway along. So what we've done is we've actually taken theirs, we've kind of split it up. That way it makes it a little easier to focus on both of their segments. And please keep in mind that both their channels, there will be links in the description below. All right, let's start with you, Zap. Show us your kits. Hey guys, this is Zap Crystal and I have with me yeah. Hey, you know who invited us to this video? I don't know who. Uh, Dee Nerds from Tom and Lacey. How y'all doing? What's up? Yeah. And you know what they asked us to do? I don't know what to do. Show me your kits. <laughs> what? You wanna they ain't showing nothing like that. Show us your kits. <laughs> oh, I was like, no, ain't showing nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of video you brought me on? Like, no, quick, quick, no. PG-13, boys and oh, girls. Oh, oh. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> I want to give a special thanks to Tom and Lacey for having us in this special collab of Show Us Your Kits. And uh, obviously, oh, kids, okay. uh, I, I'm going to do a convention survival kit. Hold on with me right there while I pull up all the stuff. So, so obviously, you need this. What is this? And then you need this. Uh and then you need this. And then, give me, give me a moment, guys. Give me a moment, I'm not done. And then you need this. And then also, you need this. And then Lacey, you need three more bags. Let me, let me just take it back. <laughs> so, uh. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> but this is not even half of the stuff, Lacey. <laughs> But anyways, guys, I'm going to show you my convention survivor kit because as you know, every time I go to a convention, I do a lot of convention coverage. So you asked us to show something standard, something unique in the identifier. So I guess the most important thing, like standard item is overall have a bag. Like I think everybody has a bag when they go to their conventions, you mm -hmm. know? So uh, if it's either to like put clothes in or your equipment your gear or whatever it is it's so important to have a bag but also like comfortable bags don't just go and drag in a big piece of luggage guys you okay? can bring some luggage you know? well you can bring some luggage but i mean don't don't try to move in you know <laughs> <laughs> so i think overall that's like number one like a bag it's so essential i think everybody in their kit has a bag um, now, number two, something unique that I think not a lot of people think of is having like a portable um, battery bank. Uh, because maybe, you know, the, if you go to a convention, especially like me, you have a lot of equipment you need to carry around your phone and there's no um, close or nearby outlet where to charge your stuff. Um, having a battery bank is so, so, so efficient. I personally need, this is his, I need to personally pick up one battery bank for myself. Um, luckily I haven't gone into these problems, but you gotta be prepared. So a battery bank is what it is, you know? And I got this one off of Amazon for like about 20 bucks. They had like, I always like getting deals and there's another like uh, Amazon lightning deal. And this was like about 20 bucks. I think this one's gone to like the 40, but it's great. Uh, especially when I like to use a lot of stuff with my phone and record stuff with my phone for like B, B footage, I mean B-roll B -roll, and, and yeah. stuff like that. And then it's coming out good. the identifier, the thing that identifies me and I think everybody knows is number one, this joke of Damien deal with it. Yeah, I know you, I'm, I'm spilling the beans here is everybody makes fun of me when I bring in my bag because I have like more than four or five outfits for just a two day weekend uh, because I'm just not really sure what I want to wear 
So I'm always ready. <laughs> So I have like four or five outfits to see in what mood I'm in. So that's one. Mm -hmm. But uh, number two for me is tripods. These are like my best friends. So I have this tripod for my camera. This is so essential for me. But so we have this like mini tripod. Mm -hmm. And you can like stick it anywhere. So because it bends and it's like, yeah. So I the, like to call it like little octopus, but yeah. you know, you can put this anywhere almost. This is like a must. This is a need that I need to take with me. And I'm so happy that my bag actually has an attachment where I, I could, you know, hang my tripod and take it with me. But not only that, this is not my only identifier. Uh, my second identifier is any sound equipment I need. So like, for example, in a convention that's really noisy and stuff for journalism or um, interviews, I need this bad boy with me. So as a convention journalism survivor kid, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty long. Uh, this is what I need. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the bags. Definitely got to have some bags at a convention. I think we're going to touch on uh, something in that area further on in the video. A little bit, yeah. And uh, she mentioned tripods, and I think that is a great idea. We carry around the normal large tripod. I carry mm -hmm. a small tripod. And this tripod actually is one of my favorites because it works as a handle. It's perfect for that. It also extends if you want to, moves any way you want. But the best part of it, you've got like a little tiny tabletop if you want it, and it can, you know, extend up. So this one is perfect. Stuff like this, it's nice and compact, perfect for when you're at a convention and you don't want this taking up all the room in your bags. Yep. Time to turn it over to, hmm, I don't know if it's the better half, but he's still Mr. Right. So, Mr. Right Way. Show us your kits. <laughs> so first thing. Um... Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I forgot something. <laughs> I forgot something, babe. We're going to leave this in the video. <laughs> Something unique that not a lot of people think of in their convention survivor kit <laughs> is a <the> deodorant. <laughs> Guys, if you go to conventions, use a deodorant. It smells good. I mean, yeah, there's nothing more annoying than saying hi to someone that smells like rotten fish. So use a deodorant. If she smelled like that, we wouldn't be married. <laughs> and Tic Tacs. Just saying. <laughs> Fresh, fresh breath. There you go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, the biggest thing. I need a good camera. And I have the Sony, the Sony A7R 3 which I'm recording on right here, right now. I love this thing. This is a great camera. Does great video. It great, does great photos. All around great camera. The second thing I need is good lenses. Is I have one lens on there, but here's my other two. I have a Sigma 105 millimeter fixed lens. This joker is heavy, but it is a beast. It is amazing. And I have a 7200 Sony Alpha lens. And this lens is great. And the lens I'm recording on right now is a Tamron 28 to 70, which is a uh, zoom lens, you can like go wide and then zoom in. So this is kind of like your photography survival? Kind of like photography survival kit, yeah, so that's, I guess you can put those as one. Uh, two is I gotta have great bags to keep my stuff in. I mean, you gotta have bags to carry in. And also two, a backpack, you know, in case I get like good goodies and games and stuff, I gotta have that on there. And Oh my God. I know I got all this bag. Look at this bag right here. This right here to keep my lenses in and also to keep like cards, uh, candy, gum, and all that kind of stuff. And even like, you know, I can put a, a bank in there, you know, just zip it up. Here, this right here, which um got my hair everywhere. <laughs> I put this right here. Let's zip it up and put it in here. My man's goes right in that bad boy. And boom, it's safe, it's sound. It's wrapped around. This is my Batman belt. So I call this my Batman utility belt. Y'all, every, every man needs a Batman utility belt. And uh, guess what? Number three. 
something that makes you stand out, your identifier? I don't know how, I guess the cameras are my identifier, but I always say uh, you need like the bank or my cell phone also to attach with a lightning to USB cable. Now this thing is, is nice. I can use this with my iPad to transfer the photos over to my phone or this right here, I can use this to my phone and have a microphone hooked up to it where I can get good quality audio too. So this is the third thing. I guess, the, yeah, this would be the third thing, wouldn't it? Okay, yeah, I think that's pretty oh, much identified. And speaking of audio, we're using right now, we're using these Rode microphones right here. They're amazing to come with too. Uh, we don't have, we said we have the microphone right here where we can catch both of us. We but have our little lava friend here. Yeah, it's a little lava, but it, it connects together and it's great. Rode makes amazing, amazing sound mics. So they really do. I guess that's everything for me. So with this, we're going to wrap up our kits and uh, we're going to pass it back to you, Tom and Lacey, because we're kind of curious about your kits. So uh, we're done showing our kits. <laughs> We're going back to you, Tom and Lacey. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. These two are very, very tech savvy. They also have something else in common. That love for bags. Yeah. And Mr. Rightway, holy cow, he looks like he's ready to go into battle, especially with the bat belt. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you got that thing draped over. He's talking about how it's full of all kinds of supplies, his snacks and everything. It's good thinking, though. Very good thinking. Yep. Something else I really liked are the power banks. Now we actually take a couple ourselves and these are so, so handy. When you're out there trying to get footage and you look down and you notice that your camera, your phone, whatever, your laptop, your iPad, even your gaming systems, if they need a charge, these are so great to have on hand. Now those are pretty great because they're nice and slim. They fit in your pocket like a credit card, but sometimes you just want to get a little nerdy and maybe you want, you know, a little soul light from Minecraft to help you charge your stuff. And finally, well, this man needs <laughs> no introduction. Pulling up in the Mario Kart, the king of conventions, Mr. Russ Lyman. Hey, show us your kits. Oh, hey guys, what's going on? Russ Lyman here. Show us your kits, convention kits now i myself attend a lot of conventions i go all over the united states to check out these awesome gaming conventions i want to give you a couple tips that things i bring to the convention that's in my kit number one number one you got to bring something to put your stuff in a backpack a satchel something like that but this is definitely convenient because you're going to be picking up items and you're going to be putting the items into the bag so you don't have to hold them all these vendors usually you don't have bags for the games that you purchase sometimes you get off good and you get to a booth like hyperkin and sometimes they have some nice canvas bags they can give you but having your own backpack works wonders it has plenty of different pockets that you can put items into and yeah, you just throw it on your back and you're ready to go. You're walking around the convention, not having to worry about holding your stuff. Out of control. You it's enjoy. freaking Russ Lyman, it folks. I'm, I'm a little disappointed you guys didn't ask me what I was doing. So the second item in my convention kit is, well, you have your backpack and putting stuff into it. You're going to be at a convention all day. Number two. You need snacks, something to eat. So you grab some uh, fruit pies or something like that. Throw those in there. These are real good. You get some like energy bars or granola bars. They're small, convenient. You could toss those in the backpack as well. Maybe you want some chips, Pringles. Once you pop, you can't stop. Throw it in your bag. This way you save money on food. You don't have to buy food at the convention. You have more money to buy games or other things at the convention, mostly games. But yeah, you could snack while you're waiting in line at a panel and it's all conveniently in your backpack. And guys, the last thing that is in my kit, you know me, I like doing a lot of DIY projects, so. Number three. Gotta bring a Dremel. Now, uh, hear me out. You know, you're at these game conventions. Maybe you're picking up an action figure or you got a uh, expensive video game you want to check inside of it. Well, an easy way to get into that cartridge is with this bad boy right here. So maybe you got an action figure like this and he has minimal movement. Well, you can just get right in there with the Dremel and do a little work on it. 
and it's great because it's got changeable bits right here you can change it out for whatever you need at the convention maybe i said you got to get into that expensive nes card you don't have your security bit on hand just put a little guy in like that and then you can just get right in there and just take that screw right out <laughs> All right, guys, those were a couple things I like to keep in my convention kit. Hopefully, gave you some ideas or inspiration so when you're putting together your kit to head out to the conventions this season. And thanks for having me on the channel, guys. As always, I'm Russ Lyman, and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video. Once again, the theme continues with the bag, and Russ takes it a step further by throwing some snacks in there. Which is a very good tip if you ask me. I never remember snacks. I always remember water. I don't ever remember the snacks. And like he said, it saves money. Might even have some room to throw your lunch in there too. Although, I will say, once he got that Dremel tool out, um, I think we're just going to go ahead and ask you to stay over there, Russ. What you doing? Hey, Russ. What you doing? Let's find out. We already have some fantastic ideas. We are so ready to go to a convention, putting these new ideas to use. So it's time for us to shine. First of all, you got to go with the standard. That would be hand sanitizer. Well, we live in crazy enough times as is, and a hand sanitizer is a must. We actually always did the hand sanitizer, but now you really want to do the hand sanitizer. Which even beyond conventions, guys, we keep it in the car for as soon as we leave a flea market, thrift shop, mm -hmm. pawn shop, anything like that, it's still good advice. And you don't even need a pandemic happening to use nope. it. For the unique, a portfolio book. Do you guys ever go to a convention and see some fantastic art prints? Please come and share. I need money. Thank you. That's where this guy comes in handy. First and foremost, we're a little, little uh, crunched for wall space. A little bit. So this keeps all of our art prints handy anyway. And when we are home, we put it out on the table. Not only does it make it super easy to look through all of these fantastic prints and art pieces that we've collected at various conventions, but if you have the space in your bag or whatever, it's a great way to keep them safe while at the convention so that when you pick them up there, you don't have to have them rolled up. You can have them flattened out and it keeps them secure. They're not bumping around, tearing, ripping, catching on anything. It's also great if you are going somewhere and you're getting an autograph from somebody. You're not going to get it wrinkled. You're not going to get that autograph smudged or anything because you great immediately point. put it in the sleeves. These are always great. And of course, come on, you guys already know what the identifier is going to it be. It has to be nothing less then the DK barrel. The DK barrel is perfect for us because it does have wheels. It rolls mm -hmm. around. It's got a nice little stand to keep it standing up. Great handle and so, so much space. So it's handy to keep all of your gear in, like for filming or that portfolio book. There's also a nice little zipper pouch on the back and we can keep all kinds of stuff. The power banks that we showed you earlier, things like pins to give out, some business cards, all that quick access stuff that you need. Plus, you like to have a little fun with it anyway and you put some of your fuzzy plushy friends I do on I do like I said earlier I've always kept our hand sanitizer attached to it but I've also got um Vizicon, which was a little monster friend I bought at one of the conventions and I stuck him on there just to keep him safe and he's kind of lived there ever since he just he belongs there you have it nerdlings just a few little tips some advice on some stuff to take to conventions when you're out there make sure you have those survival kits so you're ready for a full day of packed conventions Whew. and once more a huge huge thank you so much for joining us zap crystal mr rightway and Russ Lyman, you guys had so many great tips. We loved hearing from you. Thank you for sharing them with us. 
great, great tips that we will definitely remember next time. All of these channels are great channels. We love watching them and we will definitely have links to all of them in the description below. So please, please go check them out. Tell them do you nerd sent you. Share with us, what do you keep in your convention kits? Drop some comments down below. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Maybe uh, think about subscribing, hitting a notification bell, or if nothing else, again, please go check out the other fantastic channels and tell them on behalf of us, thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Head over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and hey, they've got merchandise as well. And if we like it, we nerd it for conventions. It's a barrel of laughs. <laughs> Actually, if that barrel starts laughing, I'm I'm out of here. One of these days, Diddy Kong is gonna pop out of it. You know he is. Bye, nerdlings. I feel good. <laughs> now I'm gonna pass it on to Mr. Rightway because I wanna I wanna see your kit. <laughs> you already seen it, baby. You seen all of it. <laughs> Mr. Rightway. <laughs> Show us your kids. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I forgot. I think she's got it this time. <laughs> Pull it up in the Mario Kart, Mr. Russ Lyman. Let's show us your kids. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> she doesn't have it. <laughs> don't have it, folks. I don't have it at all. <laughs> Great coffee book, mm -hmm. table book. Coffee table? Coffee book table. No, coffee table book. Did I say it right then? I think she did, yeah. Ready? Yep. I'm gonna rewind it a bit. Alexa, Alexa stop. stop.